Hey, what's up everybody? It's Noah from PhoneDog.com. You know, it's been a little rough to be a T-Mobile customer in the past year or so. There's nothing against T-Mobile, nothing against T-Mobile's customers. But, you know, while other companies are talking about their 3G and their mobile TV and their fancy touchscreen phones and stuff, you know, T-Mobile customers have kind of been, you know, coming along, ho holding the faith, keeping the faith, you know, holding the line, waiting and waiting. Where, where's, where's our cool stuff? Not that T-Mobile doesn't have good stuff, they do, and they're very innovative in a lot of ways, but, you know, T-Mobile customers were waiting. But in the past couple of months, things have started to change a little bit. First, 3G rolled out. Then the Google phone, the G1 phone, which whatever you think of it is a big deal. And now, behold. It's the Samsung Behold for T-Mobile. It's the T919. This is the uh, much rumored and talked about variant of the Samsung Tocho. <laughs> Did they say that right? Tocho. The Samsung Touch that uh, was a European phone. T-Mobile's first all touch screen candy bar phone. But it's not just that. Five megapixel camera. Let's check it out. All right, so with no further ado, here it is. The Behold, the first 5 megapixel camera phone to be released on a U.S. carrier. It's T-Mobile and Samsung. It comes in two colors, espresso and pink. I believe we've got the espresso version. I could use an espresso right now. No, I don't need caffeine. I'm hyped up on the phone. So let's check it out in the box, getting started and having fun. Your uh, T-Mobile services and the SIM card. And here's your manual, the T919 Behold. Here's the phone. I know that's what you want to see. We'll get to that in a second. Here is your stereo headset, Samsung proprietary jack with a line, inline microphone with a remote. Uh, this means no 3.5mm jack on the phone, which, you know, minor disappointment only in that I love to see the standard headphone jacks on phones so you can roll your own headset more easily, but there are adapters available. I don't have to put it back in the bag. What am I doing? Let's get the good stuff. Uh, here's your data cable. Again, it's uh, T-Mobile, or uh, Samsung proprietary, rather, to USB. Here's your charger. And here is a one gigabyte data card, micro SD, with an adapter, so you can plug it into your card reader. And here it is. Behold! Oh. So, let's get this other stuff out of the way. You don't need to see that. So, uh, the overlay here, I'm going to look at this just for a quick second because it details a little bit about how to use the TouchWiz interface, which is uh, Samsung's rolling this out across uh, many of their phones. You know, we've seen it on the Omnia before and on the uh, Pixon. Yeah, unlock GSM phones, but now it looks like they're going to roll it on U.S. carrier phones as well, or at least they have here on the Behold. So very interesting. I wonder if it'll if it'll be the same on different carriers. If it does make it to the AT&Ts of the world, or what the deal will be. Anyway, on the back it's five megapixel camera with a flash. There's your My Faves uh, emblem. On the side here we've got a lock button, a red button. I'm sure it has a different name, but I'm going to call it Red Button for now. A rocker switch, and then your port for uh, your Samsung proprietary connector business. Let's take the back off. Oh, it's metal. Oh, very nice. It's actually metal, which this feels quality. It's got a heft to it, you know. feels good. High, it's, it's high end. It's flagship, flagship, you know, designation kind of stuff, so it's good to feel it. Uh, feels good in the hand. Uh, I happen to have a SIM card here, so I'm going to pop that in. So here's your micro SD card slot right there. And so it looks like the, the card is not hot swappable, because uh, once I get my battery in, yeah, there's no way to get to the card with the battery in. So interesting, I wonder why they did it that way. Um, gives the phone a nice clean look and everything, but uh, be nice to be able to hot swap. 
I like that's a nice kind of classy little uh, system there for replacing the back. And like I said, it's it's metal. It feels good in the hand. Behold. Here's the sound. I know some of you really like this sound. So while this is uh, firing up here, it's a three it's a three inch LCD touchscreen. It's got haptic feedback. Uh, it's got a call, end call, and back button on the front here. It's got a full HTML browser, 3G connectivity. Um, you can do your instant messaging, your email, your text messaging, your, your uh, MMS, audio postcard, as T-Mobile likes to call it. It's got the TouchWiz interface, as you can see there on the side. Uh, like we said, 5 megapixel camera. It's got a camcorder. And... I got a new message. Uh, it's got a camcorder and uh, a flash with autofocus. Uh, stereo Bluetooth is supported. It's got a speakerphone, blah, 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 but let's check it out. So, like we said, the TouchWiz interface, it's, it's pretty slim. It feels good in the hand. We'll just do size comparison. I'm not, you know, the comparisons are inevitable, blah, blah, blah. I just have it on me, so just so you can see next to the iPhone. The, uh, the Behold is definitely smaller height and width and thickness wise I think it's a bad it's a little bit thicker I was gonna say it's about the same because Apple does that tapered business but I think it's a little bit thicker anyway though it feels good in the hand definitely feels like a good size and uh, unlock it there and so you've got the touch whiz on the side there and you can flick up and down and it's got these widgets that you can use so I just hit the I the I am widget and it took me to the mobile I am app and so it's got support built in for several of your favorite online communities and we'll go back and I can actually drag this out now so I can access it from the side here like if I hit the music widget it'll launch my music player or I can drag it out and have it always on the front of the screen if it's something that I know I'm going to use a lot so it's like a customizable shortcut um, they've got these other widgets here so there's your browser, and we'll get back to that in a minute. Uh, your Bluetooth settings, your calendar, uh, this looks like it's probably voice dialing, voice commands. Welcome to voice recognition by Nuance. Yep. Um, Nuance voice recognition. Looks like I hit the games widget there. Or no, I'm sorry, that's Telenav. So there's your, uh, your Telenav GPS. and the picture frame so there's no pictures in here but so if we take a picture because it'll last longer uh, so we have, um, I don't know what's gotten into me I'm sorry so the red button is the camera button so if we hit the camera button and let's take a picture of the uh, the manual here just because uh, there's nothing else to take a picture of so I'm going to zoom in you can get a look at the camera interface So I'm going to zoom in here and you can get a look at the camera interface as I'm going. I can use the rocker switch on the bottom, or I'm guessing I can use the touch screen, yes. And uh, we'll come back to the camera in a second. Take a picture. I don't want to send the album online or do anything else. So I'm going to exit. And now, in my little picture viewer, I've got my picture. Tremendous. And then I can view it. And I can swipe. I actually took two pictures there. I can swipe through them. I can zoom. There you go.